Good evening and welcome everybody. I am Brian Griffith. I'm superintendent here at Penns Valley. We're so very, very pleased to have all of you with us today. I would ask everybody to stay uh, standing and respect the uh, national anthem. That's a donkey, not the national. <laughs> Welcome to Penn. <laughs> I'm not going to sing the national anthem, so I think somebody's going to be playing it. Thank you. Uh, dignitaries, you may be seated at your, take your seats, and class of 2021, you may also take your seats, and the audience may take their seats. I have uh, some very good news to share with all of you. Uh, 
everyone seated on the field is physically distanced and we're outside. So if you wish to remove your mask, you may feel free to do so. And I would say 99% of the people in the stands can do the same if you still, so feel comfortable. And if not, there's additional seating over here. So please feel free to make yourselves comfortable. And again, so hello and welcome CPI faculty, CPI staff, administration, parents, friends, and most importantly, our 2021 Central Pennsylvania Institute of Science and Technology certificate recipients. My name is Brian Griffith and I'm superintendent of the Penns Valley Area School District, which is one of the three school districts that operates this technical school for our students. On behalf of Mr. Scott Graham, superintendent of Bald Eagle, and Mrs. Tammy Burnerford, superintendent at Belfont, we extend our most sincere welcome to mark this milestone event. This evening is occurring for the first time physically at one of our partnered school districts. Although the purpose of holding this event in an outside venue was motivated by the global pandemic, we plan to begin a new tradition and hold these events on a rotating basis at our school district venues going forward. We believe this action demonstrates our district's commitment to our students and the quality programming that is offered at CPI. These are challenging yet exciting times, and I have a strong sense that we are finding a pathway out of the dark days of a global pandemic. As part of this process, our youth, including the students before us, will be key contributors to a joyful and robust revival of our society and economy. John F. Kennedy once said, we are not here to curse the darkness, but to light the candle that can guide us through the darkness to a safe and sane future. As we honor our CPI certificate recipients for 2021, I encourage everyone here to support our students as they light our pathway to a brighter future. Our three school districts are extremely proud of the tradition of excellence that is CPI. Our school districts value career and technical education because it provides our students with the opportunity for success beyond today. By attending CPI, each student has had the unique chance to participate in real life experiences, which is so important to being a successful employee or a business leader in today's world economy. My sincere hope is that each student applies these skills and the next steps of life has before them. Again, I welcome each of you to Penns Valley and offer a sincere congratulations to our CPI certificate recipients on a job well done. Please give them some applause. It's now my true privilege to introduce Mrs. Kim Weaver. Mrs. Weaver is the Joint Operating Committee Chair and president of that board at CPI. Thank you, Dr. Griffith. On behalf of the Joint Operating Committee, I would like to congratulate the class of 2021. This year may not have been what you expected, but I guarantee it is a year you'll remember. I'm a little shorter, okay there. Three or four years ago, you made a decision to come to CPI. When you chose this path, you became part of an amazing family. You are not just an eagle, a raider, or a ram. You are a graduate of the Central Pennsylvania Institute of Science and Technology. CPI inspired you to work together with rival schools. CPI engaged your skills with carpentry landscaping, operating machinery, culinary techniques, lesson planning, dental working, computer skills, and many, many more. CPI inspired you to become leaders through the skills program. CPI built friendships with students and staff that will last well into the future. CPI motivated you to step out of your comfort zone and try new things. Class of 2021, you are CPI. I will give you one final thought from one of my favorite authors, Theodore Geisel, famously known as Dr. Seuss. Whether you color the world or light it up blue, 
You are making a difference, so keep being you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Vice President of Secondary Education, Mrs. Marianne Boulders. Good evening, everyone. The seniors that we are celebrating this evening have worked extremely hard to gain the technical skills and knowledge necessary for future success. We are very excited to recognize the accomplishments of our 120 seniors of the class of 2021. From this day forward, make every decision with your best interest in mind. Believe in yourselves so that you may reach your goals and fulfill your dreams. Be the best that you can be so that you may fill your lives and the lives of those closest to you with happiness and with pride. I know that each CPI senior will go out into the world and make their presence known. I encourage you to always be kind, be positive, be resilient, and continue to work smart. We are counting on you to make the world a better place. Your journey is just getting started. It has been my pleasure to be a part of this journey over the past three or four years. I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do, and I want you to know that we're always there for you at CPI if you need us. Thank you. Thousands of dollars worth of scholarships, awards, and gifts have been provided by local businesses, organizations, and contributors, and will be given out throughout the course of the evening. I would like to thank the award sponsors for their generous contributions and support of our programs. Their names are listed in your programs. At this time, I would like to make a few additional introductions. Mr. Jack Tobias, Bald Eagle Principal. Mr. Zach Weinkoop, Penns Valley Principal. Mr. Mike Fettison, Belfont Principal. Rebecca Michaels, Vice Principal of Belfont. Everybody give a wave. Thank you. <laughs> Each year, many of our senior students are accepted into the National Technical Honor Society. This is the highest award for excellence in career and technical education. To be considered for the National Technical Honor Society, a student first must be nominated by their instructor, maintain a 3.0 grade point average at CPI and their home school, have excellent attendance, and perform the required hours of community service. This year we have 42 seniors that have met the requirements for acceptance into the National Technical Honor Society. And I want to mention at this point in time, they are nominated at the end of their junior year. So these nominations went out at the end of their junior year. I'm going to ask that they come forward so that we can recognize them for this achievement. Now, National Technical Honor Society students, we're going to do this a little different than we did yesterday. I'm going to have you come up and stand. I'm, actually, I'm just going to have you stand up, OK? I'm going to have you stand up as I call your name, all right? That'll make it go a little bit faster for you. This year's NTHS students are Alexia Alterio from Advertising and Commercial Arts, Mason Alt from Horticulture and Landscaping, Kenny Baird from Diesel Repair Technology, Adrian Basalo from Dental Assisting, Taylor Bowmaster from Cosmetology, Colton Caldwell from Diesel Repair Technology, Kalina Kolpetzer from Cosmetology, Logan Crust from HVAC, Lillian Dolker from Advertising and Commercial Arts, Zachary Grant from Information Technology, Logan Gettig, Welding and Metal Fabrication, Blandon Hawkins, Diesel Repair, Madison Hilgar, Information Technology, Jayla Hockenberry, Cosmetology, Devin Horn, Emergency Services, Michaela Irvin, Medical Science, Michael Jabko, Advertising and Commercial Arts, Julie Jackson, Emergency Services, Megan King, Dental Assisting, Madison Corman, Medical Science, Levi Lowe, Diesel Repair, Elizabeth Lucas, Early Childhood Education, Trevor Mock, Welding and Metal Fabrication, Jason McCaslin, HVAC, Gavin McCloskey, Diesel Repair, Ian McKissick, Advertising and Commercial Arts, Raylan McGonigal, Medical Science, Matea Mortar, Dental Assisting, 
Jackson Morton, Advertising and Commercial Arts, Olivia Ott, Dental Assisting, Madison Peters, Medical Science, Ratanatita, PSET, Information Technology, Madeline Spicer, Dental Assisting, Nathaniel Spicer, Welding and Metal Fabrication, Alex Steimer, Information Technology, Morgan Stover, Dental Assisting, Emily Tobias, Emergency Services, Wilmarice Torres, Information Technology, Rebecca Wenzel, Dental Assisting, Henry White, Information Technology, Cheyenne Wolf, Dental Assisting, and Alicia Yoder, Medical Science. Let's give them a round of applause, please. I would also like to have Mrs. Erin Gearhart stand up. I won't make any jokes. Mrs. Gearhart is our NTHS instructor, uh, advisor. So NTHS students, let's give Mrs. Gearhart a round of applause too. Congratulations students on a job well done. Thank you, you may have a seat. I would now ask Logan Gettig to come on up. He is our NTHS president. He's gonna come up to the podium and offer um, some few words that he shared with me today and ask if he could share tonight, and I said absolutely. So Logan is gonna come up and share some words of wisdom with you. He's still hoping I have his uh, speech because he gave it to me to hold. Unless you haven't memorized, Logan. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, never once did I think that I would be standing here in front of you all, especially 13 years after everything that we've done, literally just to get a pat on the back and a piece of paper. We did it, though. We stand here as one of the most naturally impacted classes in history, from three of the five most economically impactful hurricanes in United States history our freshman year, to a global pandemic shutting down our junior year and trying to break our senior year. But we stand here today after fighting for what seems like an eternity just to get a graduation. Through thick and thin, every single one of us is able to say that we did it, that we pushed through the hardships brought before us and surpassed those who had their doubts. I believe I can speak for everyone sitting in front of me tonight that, it wouldn't be, that we wouldn't be where we are today without the rooters rooting for us every step of the way. Parents, guardians, and caretakers alike, each one of you had an impact on your child that no one could have ever imagined. We will never be able to fully repay you for what you've done for us, but every single one of us appreciates it. Thank you for everything you do. <laughs> Education is one of the most important things that can be given to a person in the world. It is one of the few things that can't be taken away from you no matter what happens in your lifetime. One of the most impactful women that has ever affected the education system to date, Michelle Obama, once said, you have to stay in school. You have to. You have to go to college. You have to get your degree because education is the one thing that no one can take away from you and that matters the most. Some of us are bound for college or further ed to further our education in our fields and we couldn't be where we are today without the amazing staff at CPI to help us every step of the way. Some of us are bound on a road that doesn't lead us anywhere towards more years of school. Whether it be welding on bridges 300 feet in the air, saving people's lives as an emergency responder, or keeping people healthy as medical science students, each one of us has a purpose in life. Odds are someone in your lifetime once told you that if you don't go to college, you won't make it in the world. The sad part is, is that they were usually your parents and they just wanted to make sure that you didn't have any barriers in your way to make sure that you made it exactly where you wanted to go. Those of you choosing this path have the potential to become some of the strongest and hardest working people that this country has ever seen. We will become the backbone of this infrastructure and show everyone that a college degree doesn't always get you where you need to be. I'm definitely gonna lose papers, that's okay. There's another path that most people don't really think about, but it is a very important path for us. It takes more bravery, grit, and heart than most of us could ever have. Those of you going into the military after school are some of the most courageous people that will protect us from threats all over the world. 
I would like to ask those planning on serving, have served, or are currently serving in any branch of the military to please stand if able so that we can recognize you for your service to this country. Thank you. The best part about our time here at CPI is always having someone that would always believe in you no matter what. I would like you all to turn your to your, towards your teachers at this point in time. Through every hardship, every downfall, and every failure, there was always someone beside you to make sure that you learn from your mistakes and help you every step of the way. I would not be here where I am today without an instructor that never lost faith in me, never doubted my ability, and always help me when I bit off more than I could chew. I would like to thank each and every one of the teachers for being the person that every kid dreamed of having to learn from. Thank you for everything you do. Many of us will go on to tell stories of the high school lives to those around us in the future. Each one of us is destined to do great things in our field of study and prove to the world that the class of 2021 is stronger and more talented than any class before us. We have fought through more and more throughout our careers and we're only just getting started. I ask everyone to do one simple thing and it might be the most important thing you do in your life. I want you to believe in yourself. You might doubt yourself from time to time, but leave that to the people that doubted you your whole lives. You don't, none of their opinions don't matter anymore. The only opinion that matters is you. You carve your future and no one else has an impact on your future but yourself. You are your own person. Take your newfound education from CPI and aspire to be the best you can be. Not just for me or your mentors or your teachers or your parents or whoever you look up to, but for yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Logan. That was lovely. At this time, I'm going to ask Dr. Macon to help me present several special recognition awards. So Dr. Macon, if you'll join me on the stage. I'm going to ask each of our award winners to come forward when their name is called. You don't have to go to the end of your lines. You can come straight forward. OK, let's let's save time by coming up instead of going the whole way out. I want to mention something else because we're doing something else different this evening. Students aren't going to get their certificates on stage. They will pick them up over by the white building at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the ceremony this evening, as well as awards uh, and checks, monetary awards as well. The wind's bad. I don't want them to blow away, and I don't want to have to go chasing them, so we're going to do it that way. So if you get something that's empty, don't panic. Okay, the first of our special recognition awards this evening is the E. Dell Simpson Memorial Award. Mr. Simpson was the Cooperative Education and Adult Education Coordinator at CPI for many years. This $100 award was established in Mr. Simpson's memory and is to be given to a student who plans on pursuing a post-secondary education. The 2021 E. Dell Simpson Memorial Award winner is Gabriel Moyer, a Belfont student in our Heavy Equipment Operations Program. Let's give Gabe, Gabe, I'm going to make you stop there. Let's give Gabe another round of applause. Congratulations, Gabe. Now you can go. Our next two awards are the Kiwanis Club of Belfon Awards, and they're given to two students who have exhibited a strong work ethic, a spirit of cooperation, and a sincere desire to excel in their program area. These $100 awards go to Logan Gettig, a welding student from Belfont, and Raylan McGonigal, a medical science student from Bald Eagle area.
Can we please give Logan and Raylan another round of applause? Thank you. Our next two awards are the Local Teachers Union Scholarship Awards. The Local Teachers Union is awarding two $100 scholarships to students that maintain high standards of personal and professional conduct, strive for excellence in education and employment, and commit and support the community, country, and society. The winners of this award will receive a $100 scholarship. This year's winners are Mason Garbrick, a Penns Valley student enrolled in our information technology program, and Danae Wolfhope, an early childhood education student from Penns Valley. Come on up. Let's give Mason and Danae another round of applause, please. Congratulations. Our next award is the Sigma Aldridge Award. This award is sponsored by Sigma Aldridge and is given to a student who demonstrates outstanding leadership, perseverance, and commitment during their time at CPI. The winner of this award will receive $150. This year, the Sigma Aldridge Award is a Belfont student enrolled in our welding program, and it goes to Trevor Mock. Let's give Trevor another round of applause. Congratulations, Trevor. Thank you. Our next two awards are the Belfont Women's Club Awards. The Belfont Women's Club is awarding two $200 scholarships to two deserving students to assist them as they begin their careers within, with their post-secondary plans. The winners of this award are Logan Gettig, a welding student from Belfont, and Cheyenne Wolf, a dental assisting student from Penns Valley. Let's give Logan and Cheyenne another round of applause. Thank you. Congratulations. Our next three awards are the Arletta Walker Memorial Scholarships. Arletta Walker's life can be summed up by this poem that she loved called Wish You. When your spirit is low, I wish you beauty. When you are troubled, I wish you peace. When you are lonely, I wish you love. When you are sad, I wish you joy. When you are discouraged, I wish you hope. Much like the attitude we call the CPI way, Arletta Walker was a woman who was compassionate towards everyone, loved the underdogs, and recognized those in the background, and was a relentless champion for people finding their way. Each of the three 2021 award recipients will receive $500. Our first award recipient from our dental assisting program in Bald Eagle is Aiden Amon. Our second award recipient from Belfont, enrolled in our collision repair, Hunter Henney. And our third winner, Jared Neville, an information technology student from Bald Eagle. Let's give Aiden, Hunter, and Jared a huge round of applause, please. Thank you. Our next award is the Outstanding Construction Trade Student. 
This award is sponsored by the Associated Builders and Contractors. This $200 award is presented to a student enrolled in a construction trade field that exemplifies hard work, ethical standards, and a de dedication to their chosen profession. This year's award winner is presented to a heavy equipment student from Belfont, Gabe Moyer. Another round of applause for Gabe, please. Congratulations, Gabe. Our next award is the National Association of Home Builders Professional Women in Building Award. This award is presented to a female student enrolled in a construction trades program. The award recipient should demonstrate leadership, perseverance, and the desire to succeed. The award recipient will receive $500. This year's award is presented to Lorian Farber, an HVAC student from Baldy Galeria. Oh, stop. Nice try. Let's give Lorian a round of applause, please. Congratulations, Lorian. Our next award is the Outstanding Construction Trade Student. This award is sponsored by the Associated Builders and Contractors and is given to an outstanding carpentry, HVAC, or horticulture and landscaping student. The award recipient will receive $500. This year's award is presented to Logan Crust, a Belfont student enrolled in our HVAC program. See, Logan knows the routine. Let's give Logan a round of applause, please. Congratulations. Our next award is the Mr. Hank Yegley Award. Hank Yegley served on our Joint Operating Committee for 20 years. During his time at CPI as our JOC president, his outstanding leadership helped CPI grow into the school that it is today. Enrollment has increased. We are recognized as one of the premier career and technical schools in PA and we now offer AST degrees in several programs, thanks to Hank's vision and tenacity to reach our goals. The Hank Yegley Scholarship is presented to a student who has chosen to return to CPI to pursue their post-secondary training. This $1,000 scholarship is given to a deserving student to help assist with the costs of furthering her education at CPI. Tonight's winner has chosen to enroll in our practical nursing program. The winner of the Henry Yegley Scholarship as a Belfont student enrolled in our medical science program, Madison Corman. Congratulations, Madison. Our next one is the David B. Garver Memorial Scholarship. The David B. Garver Memorial Scholarship is sponsored by the Belfont Elks Lodge. In awarding this $750 scholarship, scholastic achievement, leadership, and financial need are taken into consideration. The recipient of the Garver Memorial Scholarship is Hunter Snowberger, a student from Bald Eagle, enrolled, enrolled in our Precision Machine Technology Program. Let's give Hunter a round of applause. 
Congratulations, Hunter. Thank you. At this time, we will present our outstanding Cooperative Education Student Award. The 2021 Cooperative Education Student of the Year is Alexander Hartley, an automotive technology student from Bald Eagle. Alex will receive a plaque, a $150 gift voucher for Snap-on Tools, a two, and a $25 Sheets gift card. This award is sponsored by Stalker Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, and Subaru, where Alex works for his cooperative education placement, as well as Mark Hesser at Snap-on Tools. Alex will be entering the Stalker Chevrolet Buick GMC apprenticeship program upon a graduation. Upon entrance to the program, he will actually be issued another $5,000 in Snap-on Tools that can be used during his apprenticeship and become his personal tools when he's done with the program. So congratulations, Alex. $5,000 Congratulations, sir. Our next award is the CPI Student Excellence Award. The CPI Student Excellence Award recognizes an individual who has distinguished academic and technical credentials, has made significant contributions to CPI, and has the personal attributes of character and integrity that have earned the respect and admiration of his peers, instructor, and administration. During his time at CPI, he was the president of FFA this school year and vice president during the 2019-2020 school year. He was instrumental in the farm show landscape build in which CPI took first place in two of the school years in which he was involved. This young man has an outstanding work ethic, a commitment to succeed at whatever he puts his mind to. He's helped complete three HeroScape projects and he works full time at a cooperative education job placement. He's a very busy young man. He's competed in the state FFA competition for nursery landscape and has competed in the national landscape build off at Springfield, Massachusetts. He is a member of the CPI Envirothon team and a, mem a member of NTHS. The recipient of the Student Excellence Award will receive $500. CPI Student Excellence Award for 2021 is presented to a student from Belfont enrolled in a horticulture and landscaping program, Mason Alt. Stop, Mason. <laughs> Let's give Mason a round of applause, please. And the last of our special recognition awards this evening, it's time to give our 2021 CPI Outstanding Student $1,000 award sponsored by Reliance Bank. Some words to describe this year's 2021 Outstanding Student. Dependable, accountable, honest, ethical, hardworking, kind, as the day is long and energetic. She's an individual who exemplifies all the good in humanity. Some words from her instructor. When I think about somebody who goes the extra mile without a thought of what's in it for me, when I think of a young person who embodies a passion to help others and hold, holds others accountable without even knowing just by being that person to emulate, that is a role model. When I think of a person who I look up to and tell my family about, it always com comes back to this one individual. This person has left forever a mark on me and on CPI. What a person and what a gift to this world. Somebody who understands the big picture that people matter. This individual is one of the first faces that the CPI staff and students encountered at the start of each day this year. Her genuine smile and lighthearted jokes always brighten many days clouded with uncertainty of COVID life. We all knew that we could depend on her. She never missed a day. The 2021 Outstanding CPI student is a member of the National Technical Honor Society, president of her class at CPI, a member of her program's OAC, and has received multiple student achievement awards during her time at CPI. As we've already learned, she's been accepted into the CPI practical nursing program. The CPI Outstanding Student Award winner will receive $1,000. CPI's Outstanding Student for 2020-2021 as a young lady enrolled in our medical science program, Madison Corman.
Madison, stop right there. Let's give her a huge round of applause, our CPI Outstanding Student for 2021. Thank you, Madison, for everything. Congratulations to all of our award winners. Would you all stand back up, please? All of our award winners, stay, all of our award winners stand back up. <laughs> Sorry, I, didn't, I was not specific. All of our award winners stand back up. Let's give them another round of applause, please. You may be seated. At this time, I'm going to ask Mrs. Weaver and Dr. Macon to join me to pre present the seniors with their program certificates and awards. Mrs. Cook, I'll give you a minute to get everybody up here. I'm going to tell you, this is a little unnerving for me. I can't see them, and I'm used to being able to see them when I do this, so I'm going to have to trust them all. Mr. Crane, the trust starts with you. Okay. Our first program is Advertising and Commercial Arts. Our instructor is Mr. Donald Crane, Jr. Alexia N. Alterio, Lillian G. Dolker, Juan E. Gonzalez, Michael A. Jabko, Ian C. McKissick, Jackson R. Morton, and Megan G. Ziegler. So for advertising and commercial arts, we have two awards to present. Our first one is a $100 award sponsored by Malcolm and Denise Schultz. And that will go to Michael Jabko. Michael, step forward. No, not Mr. Crane, just wait. Mr. Crane. <laughs> and our second award is the 2021 Outstanding Program Area Student Award. And that goes to Michael Jabko. Now you can give it to him. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to the 2021 Advertising and Commercial Arts class at CPI. Thank you. Our next program is Automotive Science Technology. Our instructor is Mr. Michael Seip. Alexander J. Hartley. Darren S. Hewitt. Matthew A. Luce. Colton M. McCain. This evening, we have three awards to give out. The first is a $150 gift voucher from Snap-on Tools, and that's sponsored by Stalker and Snap-on. That goes to Darren Hewitt. Step forward, Darren. You'll get your prize later, but you can step forward and wave to the crowd. Okay. Our second award is a $500 award sponsored by Stucky Mitsubishi, and that is going to Matthew Loose. Loose. Matthew Loose, step forward. What right? Wave. Thank you. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Darren Hewitt. Congratulations to the Automotive Science Technology Class of 2021. Nice job. Our next program is Carpentry and Building Construction Technology. Mr. Martin Crane is our instructor. Hayden M. Alterio, Trenton D. Hillard, Colton M. Johnsonbaugh, Anthony M. Securi, and Maddox J. Sumner. All right, we have three awards to give out to our carpentry students. The first is the J. Alvin Hawbaker Memorial Award from the Builders Association of Central PA, and it's $100. And that goes to Hayden Alterio. Step forward and wave. Our second one is the Colonel Donald E. Antis Memorial Award, and that is also sponsored by the Builders Association of Central PA for $100. And that goes to Maddox Sumner. Get a wave. Get a wave. Okay. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Colton Johnson Ball. Wow. 
Congratulations to our Carpentry class of 2021. Thank you. Our next program is Collision Repair Technology. Our instructor is Mr. Brian Hummel. Gage L. Clymer. Hunter K. L. Henney. Casey R. May. Camden M. Moore. Joel M. Osborne. Cody T. Quick. And Aaron J. Rudy. So we have four awards to give out. Our first one is a most improved award and they're, you're going to get a hundred piece mechanics tool set. And that is going to go to Cody Quick. Cody, step forward, give away. Give away, Cody, there we go. Thank you. We have a second award, another hundred piece mechanics tool set and that's going to go to Casey May. Stalker Chevrolet Buick GMC and Subaru has donated a hundred dollar shift sheets gift card and that goes to Casey May. And our 2021 outstanding program area student is Casey May. Congratulations to our collision repair class of 2021. Thank you all. Our next program area is cosmetology. Our instructor is Mrs. Alicia Kitchen. Riley L. Arney, Megan G. Bear, Taylor M. Bowmaster, Kalina R. Kolpetzer, Maya J. Fox, Jayla M. Hockenberry, Kaylee M. Hockenberry, Iko M. May, Brittany M. McDonald, Kayla J. Scheip, Haley M. Smith, Caitlin E. Smith, and Kelsey E. Taylor. So we have three awards to give out now. I feel like I'm with royalty. <laughs> the first one is a $100 award donated by YouTube Beauty and Wellness. And that is going to go to Kalina, Kalina Kolpetzer. Kalina, stay, step forward and give a wave. We also have another $100 award donated by YouTube Beauty and Wellness, and that goes to Iko May. Away. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Jayla Hockenberry. Congratulations to our cosmetology class of 2021. Thank you all. Careful going down. Our next program is Culinary Arts, Food and Beverage Management. Our instructor is Chef Tim Beckenbaugh. David A. Bartko. Helena E. Corey. Kevin T. Doyle. Alicia F. Fenstermacher. Christopher M. Gano. Kevin T. O'Neill. Jade B. Rocky. Brooke L. Walk and Lauren A. Widensall. So Colony Arts class, we have two awards to give. The first one is a professional knife kit with case and that's donated by Curtsy. And that's going to be presented to Jade Rocky. Jade, step forward and give a wave. Jade, you can pick up your, you can pick up your knives after we're done. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh. It's, we always worry we don't like to give that stuff out and have them ride buses, it's never good. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Jade Rocky. Congratulations to our 2021 Culinary Arts Program. Thank you all.
Our next program is dental assisting. Our instructor is Mrs. Mindy Tobias. Aiden N. Amon. Adrian C. Basala. Megan G. King. Matea L. Mortar. Olivia L. Ott. Madeline R. Spicer. Morgan M. Stover. Rebecca L. Wenzel. And Cheyenne S. Wolf. So dental assisting, we have three awards to give out. The first one, very odd amount, $315 award, sponsored by Dr. Finch, Pediatric Dental, uh, Dr. Finch, Pediatric Dental Care, Dr. William Harkins, State College Orthodontics, Robert Jim, Jean Men, Nicole Carnicella, Dave Donald Marks Family Dentistry, Zimmerman Dental Care, and Belfont Family Dentistry. And that award goes to Cheyenne Wolf. Our second award is also for $315, and it's sponsored by Brungo Family Dentistry, William Masters, Nittany Dental, Stephen Fishbane, Center Oral and Facial Surgery, Dr. Kewitt, Dr. Klatt, David Engelhard, Schubert Orthodontics, and Central PA and Endodontics. And that is presented to Morgan Stover. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area Student in Dental Assisting is Cheyenne Wolf. Congratulations to our dental assistant class of 2021. Thank you all. Our next program is Diesel Equipment Maintenance and Repair Technology. Our instructor is Mr. John Fike III. Kenneth A. Baird. Dylan M. Boer. Colton J. Caldwell. Joshua T. Cheney. Blandon L. Hawkins. Levi J. Lowe. Gavin S. McCloskey. Colton J. Myers. And Hunter A. Snook. This evening, we have four awards to give out to Diesel Repair. I'm going to ask Mrs. Weaver to go ahead and give out the first two, and then I will give out the second two. The first two awards presented in Diesel Repair Technology this evening are the Michael D. Byrd Memorial Award and the Robert A. Byrd Memorial Award. Award winners must demonstrate an outstanding work ethic and a dedication to their chosen profession. Each award winner will receive a $50 check. The Michael D. Byrd Memorial Award winner is presented to a student from Penns Valley, Joshua Cheney. The Robert A. Byrd Memorial Award is also presented to a, a Penns Valley student, Levi Lowe. Mrs. Volders will now present the final two awards for diesel repair. Every year we have a $100 award that goes to a student in any one of our programs that has worked hard, very hard, to achieve goals and improve in their program area. This young man's been with us for four years and he makes us laugh every day. This award winner is sponsored by Sharon Cook and it's presented to Kenny Baird. Our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Levi Lowe. Congratulations to our dental assist, <laughs> you're not dental assisting, are you? Congratulations to our diesel repair technology class of 2021. <laughs> now look behind me and see which class is next and get it right. All right. <laughs> our next program area is early childhood education. Our instructor is Mrs. Erin Gearhart. Kiara S. Bilby. Haley M. Jones, 
Elizabeth D. Lucas, and Danae M. Wolfhope. We have three awards to give out this evening. The, 20, the first one is a $25 sheets card, and that is presented to Haley Jones. Haley, step forward and wave. The second one is a $50 award sponsored by the Pleasant Gap Rotary Club, and that's presented to Danae Wolfhope. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Danae Wolfhope. So I'm looking at Aaron, and this is congratulations to our early childhood class of 2021. Thank you. Our next program area is emergency services, and our instructor is Mrs. Shanine Leiter. Justin L. Benner, Emily M. Hartman, David A. Horn, Julie D. Jackson, Lance J. Sweely, Emily M. Tobias, Stephen P. Verez, Daniel A. Wasson, and Sky H. Wheeland. Emergency services, we have four awards to give out to you this evening. The first one is a $50 award sponsored by the Pleasant Gap Rotary, and that is going to be presented to Justin Benner. The next one is a $50 Ronald J. Gummo Memorial Award for a student going to the military, and that will be presented to Lance Sweely. The next one is a $500 Richard Heverly Memorial Award from the Undyne Fire Company. And that will be presented to Devin Horn. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Devin Horn. Congratulations to our Emergency Services Class of 2021. Thank you. Our next program is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and Mr. Kenneth Hassinger is our instructor. Caleb M. Bellows, Trevor G. Chandler, Logan T. Crust, Lorian C. Farber, and Jason M. McCaslin. So we will give out three awards to our HVAC students. The first one is a $100 Clyde W. Confer Memorial Award, and that is presented to Trevor Chandler. This year, the Turin Group has given us two $500 scholarships. One of them, $500 scholarship, will be given to an HVAC student, and that is presented to Logan Crust. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Logan Crust. Congratulations, HVAC class of 2021. Our next program area is heavy equipment operations. Our instructor is Mr. Chris Skelly II. Thank you, sir. Tyler R. Bumbarger. <laughs> Noah T. Gasper. Matthew M. McCloskey. Gabriel K. Moyer, Joey T. Seprish, Nathan W. Smith, Nicholas G. Smith. This evening for heavy equipment, we're going to give out five awards. The first one is the Ronald J. Gummo Senior Memorial Award for $50, and that is presented to Matthew McCloskey. The next one is the Dylan Thomas Swank Scholarship for $250, and that is going to go to Noah Gasper. The Tyler Rogers Memorial Scholarship is for $500, and that is presented to Tyler Bumbarger.
The Glen O'Hawbaker Memorial Award for $500 is presented to Gabe Moyer. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area Student is Gabe Moyer. Congratulations, HEO Class of 2021. Thank you all. Our next program area is horticulture and landscaping. Our instructor, instructor is Mr. Joseph Luther. Nathaniel P. Antonuccio. Mason D. Alt. Dominic M. Dolan. Benjamin D. Fisher. And Jack R. Nesmith. All right, we have five awards to give out for horticulture and landscaping. The first are our two outstanding FFA student awards provided by Center County FFA and they're $75 each. And they go to Ben Fisher and Jack Nesmith. The next one is the James F. Luther Award for $200 and that is presented to Mason Alt. The Wilda H. Farrell Stanfield, Stanfield Memorial Award from the Belfont Garden Club is for $200, and that is going to go to Mason Alt. <laughs> and our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Mason Alt. Congratulations, Horticulture and Landscaping Class of 2021. Our next program area is Information Technology Cisco. Our, pro our program instructor is Mr. Alan Caparell. Mason J. Garbrick. Zachary D. Grant. William W. Heckathorn. Madison J. Hilgar. Colby A. Miller. Jared R. Neville. Ratanatita Pisset. Connor J. Rebo, Alex J. Steimer, Will Maurice Torres, and Henry D. White. So for information technology, we actually have six awards to give out. The first three are $100 awards, and they, are also, they also get an iFixit kit for each student, and they are for Women in IT Awards, sponsored by Black Hoof Technology. So Madison Hilgar, Ratanatita Pizet, and Will Maurice Torres are all going to receive those awards. Congratulations. <laughs> Our Excellence in Technology Award, also sponsored by Black Hoof Technology, will be presented to Alex Steimer. <laughs> the Teacher Appreciation Award, donated by Mr. Caparell for $100, is, will be presented to Colby Miller. And the 2021 Outstanding Program Area Student Award is presented to Alex Steimer. Congratulations to our Information Technology Class of 2021. Our next program area is medical science technology. Our instructor is Mrs. Christine Reed. Michaela E. Alterio. Malia J. Crater. Michaela M. Irvin. Amy L. Johnsonbaugh. Madison S. Corman. Raylan C. McGonigal. Emma A. Myers. Madison R. Peters, Mary C. Soster, and Alicia N. Yoder. We have three awards to give out this evening. 
The first one is the Lewis E. Etter Memorial Award for $100, sponsored by the Etter Law Firm. And that is presented to Madison Corman. Our next one is the second Touring Group Award for $500, and that is presented to Alicia Yoder. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Madison Corman. Congratulations to our Medical Science Technology Class of 2021. Thank you. Our next program is Precision Machine Technology, and our instructor is Mr. Michael Klein. Thank you. This evening, we're recognizing one senior, Hunter S. Snowberger. And we're going to give Hunter two awards this evening. Hunter will get a $50 award donated by the Pleasant Gap Rotary, and Hunter is our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student. So congratulations, Hunter. Congratulations, Precision Machine 2021. Our next program area is welding. Our instructor is Mr. Edward Finneyfrock. Logan A. Gettig, Alexander W. Gillette, Trevor R. Mock, Ross J. Rudy, and Nathaniel W. Spicer. So we have four awards to give out in welding. The first one is a grinder with a case sponsored by Robert's Oxygen, and that is presented to Nate Spicer. Our next one is the Anthony Duran Memorial Award for $300, and that is going to Logan Gettig. The next one is $1,000, and it is the Jason Weaver Memorial Award and we're gonna give that one to Trevor Mock. And our 2021 Outstanding Program Area student is Logan Gettick. Congratulations, welding class of 2021. Thank you. While welding's leaving the stage, I started out with 12 pages of notes. I'm down to one. You're welcome. <laughs> There's an exceptional amount of work that goes into making this event a special occasion. I wanna thank the Penns Valley Administration and Board of Directors for providing us with this wonderful facility that we had, to use this, that we had the opportunity to use this evening. Especially, I wanna thank Dr. Griffith, Mr. Bob Miller, Director of Facilities here, and the Penns Valley Maintenance and Custodial staff for the extra time and effort you've put into making this ceremony happen for us. Not only do you have to prepare for your own graduation, but you had to help us get ready for today as well, so thank you. Let's give them a round of applause, please. I wanna thank Mrs. Teresa Brickley. She's hiding somewhere, she doesn't like to be out here. She's our Executive Secretary at CPI, but she makes this night happen. She makes, she makes it happen. She does everything to get us all ready and make us all look good. She spends many evenings and weekends leading up to this event getting everything ready, and she ensures that everyone has what they need. I wanna thank our office staff for your help this evening. They're always willing to help however they can, and they help put the finishing touches on this evening. Finally, I wanna thank Mr. Rick Kerr, our Director of Facilities at CPI and his staff for working with the Penns Valley Custodians to get everything ready for tonight. I'm sure that I speak for everyone when I say we truly appreciate your help in making this a special event. Let's give this group a round of applause, please. I would like to thank the CPI instructors and staff for the great job that they do every day. Like the students, the staff have been so resilient in dealing with every challenge that came their way this year, and for that, I am eternally thankful. They are the key components in the success of our students and our institution. Can we give our instructors a round of applause, please? Thank you. 
parents, guardians, for the opportunity you've given us to provide your, students, your, your children with a career in technical education. I know that the last two years have not been what any of us expected, but thanks to your patience and understanding, we were able to successfully complete this year. We all deserve to give ourselves a round of applause on that one. So I know students, you can't see this as well, but please take a moment and look across the valley and enjoy the beauty that's in front of you. Seniors, I ask that you always look for the beauty in everything that you do. Always remember to take a deep breath and confront life's challenges with a positive attitude. To quote someone very special in our audience, every day is an opportunity to help others. I don't want to miss out. These are words that I ask you all to live by as you start your future. Congratulations to our CPI class of 2021. At this time, I'm going to invite Dr. Richard C. Macon up to the podium to provide a few closing remarks and to present our CPI class of 2021. Thank you very much, Mrs. Volders, as she always does when she goes through her list of thank you. There's one obvious omission. And so I want to take the opportunity to thank Mrs. Mary Ann Volders for the wonderful job that she does at CPI and the wonderful job she's done with this program tonight. I too want to quickly say thank you to Dr. Griffith, Mr. Miller, the Penns Valley Board of Directors. This night has exceeded any expectation that I had. It's been wonderful, a spectacular night, hopefully a night that will remain with you for the rest of your lives. A wonderful memory. My remarks are brief. Those of you who know me know that I'm not known for my long oratory. So graduates, tonight is a night of celebration and commendation, a milestone event in the lives of the CPI class of 2021 and your families. To the class of 2021, I offer my congratulations on your success at CPI and your sending schools. You, your families, friends, and all those who have supported you can be very proud. Tonight, we celebrate that the pandemic did not, did not diminish your accomplishments. To the parents and families of our graduates, thank you for entrusting your students to us. We have appreciated the opportunity and the privilege of having them at CPI. Graduates, I believe you can and that you will make a positive difference in the world we live in. You are the future and I am confident you will usher in the days ahead with resounding success. Tonight is a great night, but the best is yet to come and I know you will make it so. Class of 2021, please accept my very best wishes for your personal happiness and professional success. At this time, would you please rise and face our guests. Class of 2021, families and friends, it is my pleasure to present to you the CPI class of 2021. <laughs> 